welcome back to the channel i'm with ij and we are locked in episode 9 dropped and we seen what marvin was out here doing he changed his ways ever since renee got shot and they had to get back at jimmy because jimmy came out there and put the hit on him but jimmy missed the intended target of marvin thank the lord my boy marvin survived but now marvin is moving a little bit differently out here in these streets and it doesn't look like he's making the the best decision for the organization Thanks a lot, Renee. RIP too. But before we jump into this and see how Marvin made the wrong moves and it could come back and bring down everybody. If you like power content, breakdowns, theories, and predictions, hit that subscribe button and turn on your notification bell so you get something every time I upload. Make sure you hit that like button and follow me on Instagram right here, M-O-E-D-O-T-J. Now Marvin, he is my favorite character, but this week he was moving very sloppy. And we have to talk about him and Sam and how Sam knows a lot of things that could lead back to Marvin and the whole organization. This connection could bring it all falling down. You the editor this stone, Kenan, and it's waiting for you if you want it. Of course, we have to start with Jimmy. You remember, he's the one that did a favor to Raquel and Kanan when they were up in Catskills and he didn't kill anybody. Also, once the meeting went down between Raquel and Sal, he was the insider for the mob that could vouch for Raquel and say she's legit. Now, with everything going on with Marco, Jimmy had to go out there and put that hit on Marvin and go through with it. This is basically his way of telling Sal, I got your back, man. I'm gonna make sure it happens this time. Fortunately for Marvin, he has a brother named Lulu that's gonna take care of business. Lulu and Rock come together and have a plan to get back at Sal, and this is by taking out Jimmy. Lulu, he's in it. The mob, they have Marvin Mark because of the Marco incident. Now the whole family is hands on with the mob. The only thing is, Marvin is starting to see things a little bit differently after Renee was killed and not him. It kind of makes you start thinking about life a little bit. RIP to Renee, she was a good woman and she actually helped Marvin change his ways. From the first time we seen him in season one to where he was now, he was actually controlling his anger in the nose out the mouth renee got shot and this was almost their first official date you can tell that renee's death is really sitting heavy on his shoulders because we haven't seen marvin cry but on two other occasions over jukebox and over scrap when he died so marvin he's really hurt and he's touched and now he has a different perspective on life because he knows control the anger but he's also trying to get juke back on his good side so with this it comes work and who was the person working with marvin pushing him to strive to be better so he can get his daughter back in his life it was renee so now it's really hitting his heart everything she taught me i gotta continue to do this and every time i control my anger i'm gonna think about renee good old sam the bum now i have another video dropping for sam and all of the bodies that he's connected to but right now Sam gets arrested. What does Sam know? He knows about Marvin. What does Marvin do? He works in Baisley. He had on the trash bag. Sam could easily say, oh, there's a lot of stuff going on in there. They may not get caught with the body. But on top of that, Sam knows the ins and outs of Baisley projects. He went in there. He went all the way to the top. Remember, he knew how to get through doors. So this is one of the problems for Marvin with Sam back on the streets with all the information he knows about Marvin, Detective Burke looking into it and starting to connect the dots, it's gonna get real ugly. So they give Marvin one task and that task is to take care of Sam, get Sam out the game because we know that he knows all the information. After the meeting about Sam having this information, we all thought the same thing. Marvin's about to go pick up Sam, lay Sam down wherever they are. So when Sam is coming out the building, Marvin pulls up and he's telling him to come here. Let me holler at you. Now Sam is a junkie, it don't take much to entice him. You give him a couple of jumbos, he's gonna give you all the information you need. He tells Detective Burke whatever she needs for a little 20 piece. Sam knows Marvin, Sam knows exactly what Marvin does. But as I was saying, the drugs, oh yeah, that's gonna change up his whole thought process. He's like, I'm gonna do whatever I can for that rock. Now. This is a bum. No one in New York City is going to be looking for Sam the junkie. So Marvin, we're thinking, all right, this is easy. They take care of this. We don't have to worry about anything. But what does Marvin do? He controls his thinking, looks at the situation, and he says, you know what? 
let me be the bigger man the better man and send this brother sam out of the city and we won't have to hear about him no more now that was the biggest mistake that marvin potentially made in his whole two seasons first trusting a junkie secondly giving a junkie some money and third not taking out somebody that has dirt on you he's seen marvin that morning he knows marvin is in the dope game he doesn't even go all the way down to atlanta two blocks later sam jumps up off the bus sam the junkie is back on the streets sam the junkie has information on Kanan. sam the junkie has information on marvin sam the junkie has information on rock because he knows all of the information on how to get in to basically and what they're doing in there so with sam on the streets marvin not knowing and a pocket full of cash he's about to be running his mouth in the streets on top of we know detective burke is going to be asking the questions because captain said as long as the evidence lines up he doesn't care what the statement says just make it work now i'm going to be 100 percent honest with y'all i don't see anything positive coming from this situation of course he's going to lie to rock and lulu and say i took care of sam we don't have to worry about it because he thinks sam is halfway to atlanta and we'll never see him again the only issue is you gave him money now he can stay in the city outside of south side for a little bit let things blow over blow that money but when the information gets out to rock that sam is still here in these streets she's going to be very upset with marvin and i can't guarantee his safety because raquel she's close to losing it now marvin made a huge mistake here with sam on the streets it could end very bad no one knows that he's still in new york city so right now you have a junkie with money running around with information on top of he knows marvin told him to leave the city because marvin's going to be looking for him now he's not worried about that because he said it's always dangerous but guess what if sam gets to detective burke and just mentions oh his uncle marvin now they're going to look even further into him they already looking into canaan it's going to be a domino effect moving forward so let me know did marvin make a huge mistake letting sam go you already know i think he did and he my favorite character but let me know what you think i'm old ij if you like this kind of content hit that like button hit that subscribe button thanks for watching i'm out